guys, welcome back again. And Dave's Dimension, welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So, we're back in for another unbox. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Now, not all of us have the money for the latest and greatest from Hot Toys or, you know, all the great collectibles that we see on Sideshow. So, someone asked me, Dave, what do you think about third party sellers? What do I think? Well, let's talk about it. Now, as I'm stepping away from Hasbro, at least with the time being, until they come up with something that I just can't say no to, I'm looking around at other sellers, eBay, of course, uh, Macari, AliExpress. Now, I decided to roll the dice on AliExpress. I ordered a couple things, and... They came in okay shipping. I mean, I got them within a couple weeks, which is pretty good. They shipped all the way from Japan. Um, now, it came in a big uh, kind of plastic gray envelope. Kind of, well, not really an envelope, but kind of uh, like a shipping bag that was... And then my items were actually in cardboard. So, I mean, they were packed. Uh, now... I did opt out of getting the boxes. I think next time I will opt to get the boxes. Even though I'm not a boxer, I think the unboxing experience is where it's at. Um, so I got a couple items. One of them we're going to review right now. The other one's going to be a separate video. You guys are going to like it. So what did I get? Well, now 3-0, I believe 3-0 is doing this. Um, I gotta double check, but 3 0 is gonna be doing a 1 6 scale Iron Patriot that comes out next year for like $99. I got a supposed to be ZD Toys, I think, or no, uh, I have to double check the brand, but uh, I got a third party uh, Iron Patriot right here. Just came in wrapping, no box. Um, he looks pretty cool. But, of course, I have to pull everything out of the bag. He does come with some extra accessories. I'm going to pull everything right out here, guys. Now, I do kind of miss the unbox experience, so just in the sleeve, right? <clears throat> and we got a little plastic around his helmet, around his arms. I have to put one of his fists on, because I guess it came off in shipping. But, uh, yeah, we got ourselves a uh, Iron Patriot. What do you say we put them together? There's some, some pieces we need to swap out, swap in. And uh, let's check them out. I mean, I got him for, I think, around $46, so not bad. But, guys, <clears throat> third-party sellers, I know they're going to be hit and miss. You know, they're knockoffs. They're KOs, as anyone that's purchased a knockoff before knows where it's at. Now, I am not collecting these to resell and pass on to anyone else. I would never do that. I am I mean, guys, take a look at my collection. Everything is out of box, basically. Okay? This is for my own pleasure, my own interests. And I was curious about third-party sellers, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about them, their pluses and minuses. I'm already seeing a few minuses on here without even really getting into it, guys. But, <clears throat> guys, this is Dave's Dimension Word. Chaos and insanity reign supreme. So let's break out this chaos, and let's just see how insane it is. What do you say? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, guys, let's get into this. So, we got the Legend Creations Iron Patriots. I got him on AliExpress and... In all honesty, I mean, he's not bad. I paid $45 for him. So, I mean, for that price, it's not bad, right? Um, The figure, not so much. Figure is not too great. I mean, he's not very stable. He does come with a stand. And as you can see, the arms are very loose. We have a lot of, a lot of looseness to it. Um, obviously, I, this is a knockoff. Obviously, that's very clear. Um, not very good knockoff. I mean, we have paint. It looks like it's kind of 
I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. But this comes right off. I don't know why. There's no accessory that really goes on the arm. Um, it's like it's missing accessories. I mean, from, from the picture of the box, and I'll show you guys the picture in a little bit. But the picture, it makes it look like there's supposed to be batteries that come with them for a light-up feature. But there's no switches anywhere. Uh, this head comes right off. So it's not as if this is holding the batteries like the, uh, I think it's the XD or the uh, 301 that's going to be coming out. And this is to a company called Legend Creations. Um, he's very loose. I mean, you know, for for $45 before shipping, I mean, it's not bad. Um, we have a blast, a little blaster weapon right here. But as you can see, the arms are a little loose. And take a look at this right here. I mean, we got gaps in the arm seam right here, which, hey, it's it's War Machine, it's Iron Patriot. I could give that, but take a look at this worn, I mean, the paint's not even finished. I could probably touch that up if I really wanted to. But, I mean, look how this does not look that great. I mean, I, it's great that we have some mechanical display right here. This is a rubber, a rubber, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you would call it, the, the shoulder. The shoulder piece. <laughs> I mean, let's take a look around. I mean, it doesn't look bad for, I mean, an under $50 uh, one six scale. Disengage the service. We got a weird little decal right here. And let's take a look down here. We have some of the blue paint came off and is right on these silver pieces right here. I mean... If you're a collector, you would feel like you have to touch these up or weather the hell out of him to kind of compensate. I mean, we get more of that worn paint. You can see some of the silver right there, maybe. Um, I'm not impressed. I mean, sure, if I have him standing up by himself, I mean, let's try and stand him. Problem is, his feet, back of his feet, I mean, he's pretty much perpetually on... I mean, it's almost like his right leg is longer than his left. I hate to actually say that. Um, there's no satisfying clicks. I mean, we do... Look, this keeps popping off. I'm going to have to hit this with some uh, hot glue to keep that on there. Um, I mean, maybe if I try and stand him like that, he can stand on his own. But it's so far, it's pretty disappointing, I'll be honest. Now, we have this alternate head because this one, okay, that comes right off. Let me show you. This comes, this gives us a very disappointing looking roadie. I mean, it's not terribly bad. It looks like zombie Don Cheadle. It looks like you could put him on a pike. It looks like zombie Don Cheadle. I mean... It's, I've seen worse head sculpts, you know, I've seen worse. This isn't too bad, <clears throat> but this, the only way to keep that on is you got to make sure that the chin, the chin piece, which is kind of loose, stays up there. Otherwise this can come off. So you got to lower that and then this comes off. I mean, it could be worse. Can always be worse. Um, so far, <clears throat> I'm kind of feeling disappointed. Really am. Um, I mean, like this right here, this kind of gives you the... Take a look at the two pieces here, right? We don't have a gap here. And see, this just came off. But we have a gap here. I've seen some where it looks like this comes off for batteries. But there's no connectors in here whatsoever. There's nothing to make any eyes glow. There's no switch or anything. Which in itself is. I mean it gives you the. Con it makes you feel as if there's supposed to be some batteries in here. Plus the package that you see on AliExpress. Actually shows some. Uh, some batteries. That would go into it. But there's no, no. There's no instructions. There's no. There's no battery section. Nothing to 
open this up to reveal any kind of batteries that would go in here. And let's take a closer look at his torso. Again, we have some mispainting. And some of this looks a little off. I mean, let's take a look at that right there. Again, the paint apps, I mean, hell, I've seen worse on a Hasbro, let's be honest. We do have some articulation with the neck here, and it's loose. We got we got a little wiggly-waggly right there, guys. At least this arm looks a little better than the other one. We don't have that huge gap. Now, he does come with his little blaster weapon, <clears throat> and even this has some... Some hits and misses. I mean, this looks like it's bent. I don't know if I can bend it. Nah, I'm not going to try to do that. Might break it. But, uh, this is very loose. I mean, take a look at that, guys. Very loose. Like, I... Uh, I'm feeling buyer's remor remorse here. <clears throat> now, it does come with a stand. So, let's get the stand out. <clears throat> not very, uh, I mean, this is, don't, don't get me wrong, this is nice. This is looking kind of swanky. So, this is pops, or should pop in. Come on, you saw. Maybe I'll have to use a different stand for this. Yeah, this is not fitting in. Let's take a look at that, guys. Looks a little warped. And we're not talking about my sense of humor. There we go. We finally got that popped in. So. And it doesn't even, this doesn't even go, does this fit around? Does this go up? Okay, it does go up. But, this doesn't look, I mean. I mean, I guess we can bring that down a little bit. But it's, I'm feeling all kinds of bad about this one. Yeah, look, this the arm won't even stay up that that well. I mean, I might have to look. The hand came right off. Um, so I mean, this is just one third party seller that turned out to be kind of a dud. Um, we haven't even put this on yet. I'm trying to see where can we put this on? Can we slide into the back like that? Yeah, I think so. doesn't even go on there that well but I mean hey for like I said un well that was fun oh there is we do have a little battery pack in here so you guys can see right there we do have a little bit of a battery pack so this piece came right off Uh, nothing. I might have to unscrew that, open it up, see if I can get it to light up. So, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, so, I'm going to have to get some batteries for this back side. But, this is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, honestly, guys, um... This arm piece that falls off is a bit annoying. I'm going to have to take some hot glue or something to him. See what I can do. I'm going to play around, see if I can get those batteries to see if I can uh, get, the bat get the light to work. But even this looks off-centered. I mean, again, for something under 50 bucks, it's not bad. It's cool that we have, I can't even rotate this, I mean, we can kind of do like, 
with his blaster, but this looks wholly unnatural. Um, this right here, there's no way to tighten this, not that I can see. So I might hit a little, little glob of glue in a hidden spot so I can hold, have his blaster sticking out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're on a budget, do you really want a 1-6 scale Iron Patriots? I mean, this is an option at AliExpress. I will actually have a link in the description below. Um, there's a lot of inconsistency. This looks more matte than the shininess that we have, the gloss, this, or more of a semi-gloss, really, that we have up here. Um, I mean, for $45 before shipping, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, again, the Cheeto hood could be much worse. He just looks kind of zombie-like compared to, well, Hot Toys and everything else. But then again, that's Hot Toys, so it is what it is. Um, we do get an alternate hand right here. Now, I don't know if this lights up or if this one lights up. We know that there's a switch in the torso. So I don't expect his eyes to glow. Not one bit. There's no, no metal connectors that we can see. But there is that battery compartment. I'm tempted to get a set of batteries just for the hell of it to see if we can get this to light up. Because at least that would be something. But we do get alternate hands. So we could have both hands in a blaster mode. And we do have a closed fist for his right hand. So we can do like a, a punching move. I mean, look how glossy... The fist is, I mean, this is, the fist, don't get me wrong, the fist is actually pretty good. You know? It's just, the rest of the body feels like it's failing. All the joints feel loose as hell. Um, this was labeled as new. But, I mean, with the painting and everything, it's very sloppy. I mean, I'm tempted to do a lot of weathering on him to kind of cover up the bad paint apps in certain spots. Uh, who knows, maybe do some, I mean... If, and also, guys, if you're a customizer, you know, $45 for an Iron Patriot is not that bad because you can battle damage the hell out of him. Okay? And I'm, I'm really tempted to do that. To do some battle damage on him, maybe some gouges. You know, we got the Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. Uh, you know, I'm really tempted to do some blast, some blast marks, maybe some some gouges, maybe take a, maybe a, like a soldering needle or something to, you know, do some scrapes, some, some gouges, some blast marks, <clears throat> a little bit of dry brushing, a little bit here and there. And, you know, he, he'd be a pretty good display piece. Now, would I do that to a Hot Toys or a three zero? I don't think so. <clears throat> do I plan on getting the three zero uh, that is coming out next year? Yes, I do. And guys, stay tuned because I will do a comparison between the two of them. Now, you might be wondering, how does he scale? Well, let us see. Uh, it doesn't scale that great. Here he is, uh, maybe negligible. Here we have the Legend Creations Iron Patriot with three zeros, very own Green Ranger. Green Ranger, uh, obviously Green Ranger would take him hands down in a fight. Sword of Darkness, Dragon Dagger, Dragon Zord Power Coin. And let's not forget the Dragon Zord itself could easily crush Rhodey. Easily. Although that might be a nice fun fight. But there we go. Uh, I mean, they skill pretty... Let's do a side-by-side. -side. His helmet... Uh, Tommy's helmet's a little bit bigger, so... 3-0 uh, scale. Definitely just as twidge bigger and thicker than... The Iron Patriot right there. But guys, there we are. Um, Honestly, I just... I'm shaking my head in all kinds of ways. I mean... 
It could be worse. It could be a hell of a lot worse, guys. It can always, always be worse. Always be worse. So, final thoughts. I mean, I'm glad I only paid $45 before shipping for this guy. Um, honestly, I bought knockoffs before. I have. Um, when I used to collect Transformers. I got a lot of Masterpiece knockoffs, and a lot of them were actually pretty damn good guys. They were actually pretty awesome. Um, this one, he's definitely a lot of hit and miss. Could be a case of QC issues. Could be a case of, you know, your miles will vary. Um, those are all possibilities. It's just like, take a look at the back of the leg right here. One leg looks more matte, the other one looks more gloss. There's a lot of inconsistency all over the damn body. Um, a lot of lack of instructions. I mean, we can see the hinge, you know, his, his ball joint hinge for the arms. It looks a bit unnatural. Um, I mean, I'm all kinds of disappointed on this. But yeah, like I said before, it could be a hell of a lot worse, guys. He could have been a hell of a lot worse. I have to find myself a small little screwdriver so I can get the right size batteries for him and we'll test them out. Oh, geez. I just noticed that now. Now, here's the roadie helmet, right? Looks good, right? Now, let's take a look at the one he's rocking right now. A lot of inconsistencies, guys. A lot of inconsistencies. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, if I have to rate him, uh, I'm going to say a 6.5. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be playing with him. You know, I mean, you might try and do some poses, but the problem is a lot of these joints are so loose that it's going to be kind of hard for you to try to do some posing. And that posing is going to be very, very difficult to do. I mean, if anything, if you're good at photography and you can hide it, you might be able to do a little bit of hot glue in certain spots to kind of hold hold the arm in a certain way. Or maybe some kind of putty or something that you can put around to kind of hold it up a little bit more. Again, I don't get the gimmick with the, uh, the forearm here. With that panel that comes right off the right arm. I mean, we get it's cool that we have the one little panel that shows the uh, left arm gun. You know, this right here. Um, this is just all kinds of disappointing. I mean, that's just, that's just trash. It really is. That's just all kinds of trash right there. I'm just all kinds of dis disappointed with it, but I mean, it could be worse. This is going to be a customized project, I think, for me. I'm going to try and do some, some paint apps on here. You know, maybe, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, the Don Cheadle head is, isn't bad. Like I said, I've seen worse. I mean, it's already has scuffs, and that's just quality control right there, guys. So, I mean, this figure is screaming, screaming for customization, guys. And that's what's going to happen with him. Um, but, guys, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving him about 6, 6 and a half, 6.5. Now, I do have something else. That we have also from AliExpress. But I think we're going to have a better review for him. Uh, that is a Play Arts or Play Arts Kai Wolverine. I saw him on, on eBay. Found a better deal on AliExpress. Bundled these two together so they came together. But I think next time I'm going to go for the full unbox experience. You know, if there is a next time. I mean, they saw a lot of stuff. A lot of Lego sets. Uh, they have the Ghostbusters Firehouse, I think for seventy or eighty dollars. I think between that, between seventy or eighty, all the way up to one twenty-four, that would be a fun build. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't want to damn AliExpress, but yeah, it is a third party. Am I getting what I'm paying for? Yes. Um, you know, for fifty dollars, this is what you get. So, it is what it is, guys. Um, like I said, it could be a lot worse. But this is going to be a project that I can do some weathering on. 
and we can have some fun with. So, guys, that's it. Um, what do you guys think of this? Do you think I was an idiot? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know. Um, I mean, personally, I think I did okay. Could have done better. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a 1-6 skill. I can have him in the background. He's going to look cool. I think I might position him right under Captain America because, hey, it's Iron Patriot. So, um, we'll throw those two together. Um, I got a lot more stuff coming Okay, guys, so there we are. There he is. He's a bit disappointing. Kind of, you know, we got the C-3PO pose almost going on. Um, there's there's a lot of mismatching, a lot of paint, paint issues on here. My plan is to scuff the hell out of him. We're going to be doing some gouge marks. We're going to do some blasts. Um, am I disappointed? Yes and no. Uh, for the price point of $45 uh, plus shipping, I think I did pretty good. I think I did. Um, a lot of it could be better. Like here, on the back of this, with this gun blaster, I might just throw a glob of hot glue right where my finger is so I can hold this in the right spots. That's one thing I could do. And hot glue will come right off, so I'm not worried about that. Um... A lot of this is hit and miss, but you know what? For $45, this is going to be a project for doing some weathering, doing some battle damage. We're going, to, we're going to scratch the hell out of this suit. We're going to do so much to it that it's not even funny. Um, who knows? I might even do some battle damage to this, uh, this blaster of his. Um, but, I mean, with all these defects, you get something with defects, that's just screaming for custom, guys. It is screaming all day long for custom. And that's what's going to happen with him. He's going to be my first 1-6 uh, scale custom. My, well, my first custom ever, I guess. Um, it's just really disappointing. But hey, for $45, I'm not going to be crying all night. I mean, there's yes, there are a lot of, lot of paint defects on here. And I'm just going to try and cover them up with weathering and battle damage. But hey, $45, 1-6 scale figure like this, I think I did okay. Could have done far worse. I keep saying that. Could have done far, far worse. Um, our third parties, our third party figure is worth it. It depends. Transformer knockoffs or KOs are awesome. I've had a bunch over the years. The Transformer masterpiece ones have been pretty damn awesome, and they don't have the looseness that we have on this guy. Um, this could be just. This could be just a case of, you know, I got a poor quality one. That could be it. That could whoa in the hand just went flying. Okay, but I mean, could that be it? That could definitely be it. Um, should you take a chance on it? If you're not someone who is about reselling, then yes. If you're someone who's just about the look, you want something cool, something fun, something to look at in the background, then yes, get him. If you're about that life of Okay, got something cool. You know what? I'm not vibing on this anymore. I'm going to sell it and then roll that money back over into something else that you love. I'm reinvesting in the hobby. Then pass on third parties. AliExpress has a lot of cool stuff. Such as anyone who's heard of Play Arts Kai, they have this whole brand of, this whole line of like kind of reimagined anime almost style figures i have wolverine here that's going to be the next video um i think he's going to be a more successful turnout than iron patriot was here um but guys third parties they have their place in the market um as someone who is kind of what's the right word i'm looking for? i'm a bit drained when it comes to hasbro guys let's be honest i'm going to call it like it is I'm just a bit drained when it comes to Hasbro. I want, I want stuff that is bigger and that at least I get accessories with. I mean, yes, we have some, some defaults here. Maybe I could put a little dab of hot glue here and there to kind of get him to pose a little better. And his damn hand keeps falling off like crazy. Um, I think as a display piece, I think for now he's going to look 
he's going to look okay. I do plan on getting the Iron Patriot that comes out next year. It'd be great if I can get my hands on it even sooner. Um, but, I mean, yeah, something like this. If you're looking for 1-6 scale and you want something that you can customize without feeling bad if you damage it, here you are. I mean, the stand isn't bad. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not great. Um, it's okay. I mean, could this be way better? Uh, yes, it could be. And I think 3-0 version is going to be tremendous when it comes out, guys. So, guys, there we are. Um, okay, guys, so here we are. Here is the Iron Patriot on AliExpress right here. This is the box Legend Creations. You see we got the batteries right here. He did not come with batteries. I mean, this is a slightly better pre presentation than just wrapped in a bag, but they give you an option. No retail box. I didn't even get the tray. I did not even get the tray. I didn't get the batteries. I just got this, 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 and this. And that's all we got. Or you get the box. So between $45.99 and $48.99, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, but yeah, they have some hits and misses here. Here's the uh, better look of the Play Kai Arts Wolverine that I got. I mean, he looks beast, and I can't wait to do a review on him. I think that's going to turn out tremendously better. And look, I mean, from forty-one sixty-five to twenty-four ninety-nine. <clears throat> and he's going for a hell of a lot more on eBay. So, um, AliExpress has its, you know, its bargoons and its not so bargoons, you know? Like here, we have a knockoff of the Tom Holland. Uh, this is a knockoff of the Hot Toys Tom Holland. I mean, the neck looks a bit thick. I'm almost tempted to get him, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of, kind of on, on the fence because of how Iron Patriot turned out. I hope that he has some better joints, and obviously, you know, this is a suit over a body, so I'm tempted, but I don't know how tempted I am, guys, so there it is. So, guys, there we are. Um, I know it was a bit of a long one, but I wanted to go into detail on him, um, give you guys my honest imp impressions of him. Um, it could have been a hell of a lot better, guys, a hell of a lot better. Um, you know, do your research when you buy something. Uh, third parties are not necessarily bad. I just think it depends on what you're going for, what you're aiming for, what you're planning to get. So, guys, do your research. Check it out. If you feel you want to take a gamble, take the gamble. Roll the dice and see what happens. You know, who knows? Maybe you'll get, uh, you know, get a homer or maybe you'll get a very bad droid. But who knows? <laughs> but, hey, I got myself another six, one six scale figure. He's going to go up. I don't know exactly where. I might put him right below Captain America or maybe not. We'll see what happens. So, guys, until next time. Until next time, guys, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And I will always catch you on the flip side.